What is going on everybody? So here I am looking for mud crabs and this young brown pelican decides to land a couple feet from me. And when I looked at him I noticed he had some heavy duty leader hanging out of his mouth and I think he just wanted help. got going on? Tell me it's not in your gut. Ow! Razor blades. Alright, let's see what you got, buddy. Oh, I can get that one. See it? Yep. I got you. I know. I got you. That's why you came over here, didn't you? You said, I recognize that guy. There we go. Okay. Okay. I want to make sure there's no more. I want to make sure there's no more. I want to make sure you don't have any more, buddy. kind of set up. I know it's honestly someone that really is not familiar with fishing because that's kind of kind of a crazy setup and those are the people that maybe don't know that the bird's gonna take your, your bait. Anyhow, got that out of them. Alright, let's find some more blood crabs. Fish are friends, not food. You're probably wondering why they're all gathered here. When you go out like four days ago and you forget that you have a live well full of bait and you drop your boat off and put it in storage, I just opened the live well and they smelled it and look. Yes, it's absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I don't know guys, I'm not touching them so you guys can fight over them. Boy, that smells a lot like, I don't know what. Rotten fish, I guess. Oh, that's <laughs> Why are you covering your nose, Jamie? Oh, splash in the camera. No, let me get it out of the net first. What's the matter, babe? Is it gross? <laughs> so gross. They don't seem to mind. I'm a plumber and this shit's gross for me. <laughs> <laughs> They're even shivering. It smells so gross, but yet we have to eat it. Guys, it's like 50 degrees out here today. So now that I smell absolutely disgusting, we're gonna go off uh, catch some sheep's head but we got something special planned. One of the things I missed the most about New England growing up there was catching, we'd go out and snorkel and find lobsters when I was a kid, 56 degree water, freezing. And uh, I said, you know, what would I, if I could, if I was there, what would I do? I'd like to have a lobster because I'm not buying it at the store. No way. So we're gonna go catch some sheep's head and we're gonna make some po' man lobster. It's gonna be awesome. You ready, brother? 
I'm we ready. need to rinse this boat down now. I'm ready to get away from this spot. This <laughs> I may have to back in, guys, because of the wind, but go ahead and drop it right in front of one of those poles. I'll try to keep it close. I don't know if you guys can see that pelican, but that is the fattest pelican I've ever seen in my life. Dude, what did you eat? Another pelican? It's like you're swallowing a five gallon bucket. Okay, Ben's tight. You want me to net him? Is he a keeper? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a keeper for sure. There you go, buddy. What do you got for a hook? What are we using? It's just a little number two owner. With Why do we use a small hook? Because they got real small mouths. And very toothy, hard to get in. So you end up hooking them right on the outside of the lip usually. Convicts, not only because of the black and white stripes, because they're professional bait stealers. <laughs> But they taste good. They're very good. That's a good one, bud. Oh, yeah. Holy cow, where's the net? Nice, dude. He's 17 inches at least. He's bigger than 17. He's, yeah, that's that's definitely my PB. Sure. Is it really? Oh, yeah. My biggest before this was like 15 and a half. That's PBs, it. baby. That's what we're all about. I was like, man, I'm snag. And then the snag started moving. I'm like, Man, that's a big fish. Ah. I gotta get a tape on. Look at the shoulders. He's yeah, that's 10 inches tall. For sure, my fattest sheep ever. Poe Man's Lobster, baby. He's big, dude. Yes, he is. That's a stud. Let me get him out of there. I'm gonna put this in the pole holder. Dude, having a net is so much big, easier. Takes, what? The hook just falls right out of him. You gotta keep that line tight because if you don't, you put some slack in it. Their mouths are so hard. That's why. Yeah, I look at the mouth on them, guys. See, it's all on the roof of their mouth. They got they got teeth. They have incisors like humans. They yep. don't have canines like most And they most get the big round meat. crushers on the top of their mouth and on the bottom of their mouth. Look at them. So you can't even do anything with that thing. I bet he's 17. Yep. 17. 17. Good looking fish. Yeah, man. that's perfect. For sure, my dude. And like Ben was saying, when they, 12 is a keeper, but if you let the 12s go and they grow an inch, it's like a completely different fish. A 14, a 14 inch fish is like a pound heavier. It's like for every inch they grow longer, they grow an inch taller and an inch wider. Yeah. It's crazy. How? that awesome? He's mashing my, cut my little jaw gripper Crushing thing through. You can, you can just hear him smashing the plastic. That's awesome. All right, Jamie, that's what they look like. Okay, kiddo? Ha ha. Well Pretty close. He's probably real close, but even if they're just barely 12, we like to let those guys go. Yep. Later, dude. Come back when you're 20. He's all pale. And this is after five, seven minutes of bleeding out. So he's all bled out. His gills are nice and pink yep. instead of a bright red. So now we're going to throw them on ice and get them nice and cold. Get their quartet down. Pack them in ice, baby. Yep. I think when they can see, ah, oh, the current's ripping. Okay, we need yeah. a bigger split shot. I'm gonna try on this other side here. I firmly believe when they can see you, yeah. you're not outsmarting. We'll try that. Let's get you a bigger split shot. That's what cool thing about split shots. You just pop them off. You don't have to retie. Boy, it must have been rough out there. I think they had seven footers yesterday because look at the water. Yeah. It is chalk. Can you tell this guy's kind of OCD? Look at how organized everything is. That's everything. He put a nice sink in for us today. We went and bought one this morning and tool bags, everything's just perfect. Try to put it next to the concrete, honey. Bring it in and cast it in there. Ben just did. He's fishing that one. Little guy. Did you get one? Yeah, a little guy. Oh my gosh, Juvie. It's like <laughs> Juvie. Uh, I've caught. Get it, I've, Juvie. I've, I've caught. <laughs> I've caught grouper on bait bigger than him, I think. <laughs> nice. Very colorful when they're little. Yeah, though. they are. What'd you do? I don't know. What is that? Black drum, maybe? It's either the darkest sheep's head I've ever seen, 
Where's the net? It is, a, it is a dark Holy net. cow, net him, babe. Talk her through this, okay? I'm just gonna bring the head right up to you, okay, James? Yep. That's a nice one. Dude, he's fighting hard. Yeah, he is. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Get him under, get under him. Holy! <laughs> Dude, that's a stud. I thought it was a black drum. Look at the size of him. Dark. Dude. That's that's a stud. What hey. Another PB. I said, <laughs> current's coming this way. Drop it right there. That's so big, good. That's, that's a, a good crab, one, guys. Man, that was a crab like this he ate. Bigger bait, bigger that is look at so he's probably 18 inches and look at how much taller he is at the shoulders, guys. Look at that. Look, look at, at the, the mouth on yeah. him. It's a big mouth. Dude, oh, we need to measure him oh, so yeah. we can get a mount. That thing is a stud, bro. Get him, James. Drop it right down there behind the wall, babe. Look at look at this, Steve. Steve. Look at the size. You got him in the mouth. Yep. Look at the size of that fish, bro. He's he is, look at the shoulders on him. You were like, I don't think it's a sheep head. It's so dark. I've never seen one this dark before. But I, he was pulling drag like yeah. crazy. Well, that was on like 3,000. That was on a little <laughs> Daiwa VG3 K. Dude, that's a six pound fish. Five anyway, I would say, he's, wouldn't you? He's good size. Oh, man, I got that hook in there. That's awesome, man. Look at that, see how easy we gotta get the measurement for that. Guys, that is a trophy. I don't care who keeping you are or where him, you're at. I'm keeping them down low. I don't want them to flip off of the boat. Yeah, don't pull a Brandon. Let me get you back in there, kid. What's your prediction, 18? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking gonna, I'm he's say bigger 18. than that even. Uh, I don't know. But he's so much bigger. He's oh, so, he's 20. He's, he's 20, 20 to the tip. <laughs> Dude, I've never caught a 20. I lost I lost one about that big the other day. Well, he looked that big underwater. That's a solid fish. <laughs> Dude, there's gonna be some, th that right there, this upper section is gonna be the best for what we're trying to do, making that po' man's lobster. 20 inch sheep's head out of there. Dude! Out of the restaurant, people are eating their grouper in there. <laughs> They're like, don't mind us, we're just gonna sneak up in here and <laughs> snake a sheep's head out of here. Well, we're trying to catch one more. Seems like they bite great right before dark and then they shut down, but that's okay. We got enough and uh, we're gonna go home. See you guys in the kitchen. right in here and you just hit this bar right there that's a suck all the air out a little tray for any moisture that comes out we'll go right into the tray and now it's sealing which means it's melting the top of it all right it's done okay so one of the things i miss the most is cherry stones now they don't have a real good shucking knife. It's a little too broad, so it tends to want to crack them, but there we go. Now, it's so wide, if I push it in there too far, I'm gonna crack the shell. So I'm just gonna go, there's a muscle here and a muscle here. And I know I've talked about this in other videos, but that muscle is what you eat in a scallop, all right? 
you can see there's a muscle there and a muscle there. Now all we want to do is transfer all this meat over to one shell and then cut all this loose here. And then we can get rid of this. Are you cooking these? No, this is down the hatch, baby. You know, I really got some stuff at home I got to go attend. You're committed now. <clears throat> I was committed when I thought we were cooking them. <laughs> oh, I got some to cook too. But I'm not going to cook those tonight. That's for something different. I don't need much. Down the hatch. That really hides the flavor. You like it without it? Well, well you've I... had them before, like many, many moons ago, but... It's good. Go ahead, Ben. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> yeah! I was like, well, how do you cook these once you've cut them in half? And you're just throw cocktail sauce yeah. on them. No, them. You remember, grab them from the front here, because the back, when you don't get your mouth over the back, sometimes there's shell. Right down the hatch like an oyster. Yep, see, there it is. It's better than I expected. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty good. I could eat all of those. <laughs> My dad used to call us the little seagulls. I could probably have a handful of those. All right, well, we'll have more. <laughs> all right, I got I got to have one, too. I wish I had a bigger one. My mom always used to get mad at me because I always kept the big ones. She's like, oh, let's make, uh, what is it, New England clam chowder out of those. I was like, you can't eat that raw. That's too tough. Never had one I didn't like, Mom, I can tell you that. Like a professional slurps it right off of there. And what I didn't tell you guys is these came from Massachusetts. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Look at you with your patch shirt on, sucking down raw. I didn't even man. realize I was wearing this. <laughs> they didn't do so good this year, but it's to be expected. But Tommy boy, now that's another story. Anyways, okay, we got our water boiling here. I just got to get some more ingredients and we'll start making the lobster. So we got about that much there's a lot of water in there probably a gallon or so but we're just going to put one cup of sugar in there this is cane sugar so we need to give it a minute to melt down and now we're just going to cut a lemon probably do about that much i'm just going to drop those right in there what that stuff does is it changes the texture of the meat makes it a little more firm it makes it more like lobster okay look at that stuff isn't that awesome now the key with this guys is it, it could boil over that's why i'm using a bigger pot so it doesn't boil over and get all over the stove i'm going to drop all these in here and bring it back to a boil do not stir it up otherwise they could fall apart i'm just going to make sure they're not touching each other I probably should have just put them in individually. All right, there we go. You get all the water off it. And, oh, see, they're nice and firm. They even smell good. They do smell good. So the lemon and the sugar somehow changes the texture a little bit make i think it just makes them a little more firm please be more ah that one's mine i mean it smells like lobster meat no doubt i don't know why we need three bowls but just in case you think i got cooties you'd be right Got to be classy with our butter. Yeah. All right. Hey, pop your hat off. Before we eat, I got to say grace real quick. Don't get my head. I need a haircut. <laughs> you and me both, brother. <laughs> our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for another safe, fun, wonderful trip. Thank you for all of your many blessings, dear God, and the wonderful opportunities that we have to explore and enjoy the outdoors. And we thank you for our lovely families, dear Lord, and we ask that you will keep us all safe. And in your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, go for it. it smells like crab. It smells like crab legs. I had a little one, but it dove right for the big one. 
tastes like crab legs. Or lobster. Yeah, that's really good. That's really, really good. bloodline on there. Mm -hmm. Oh my word, man. That so, is absolutely ridiculous how good that is. So the science behind that is the citric acid and the lemons mix with the sugar and then uh, witchcraft happens and then you get lobster. That's how it works. <laughs> Boom. There it is. Okay, just one more piece. I'm telling you guys that it is can see how much more firm if this were is. baked if this were baked it'd be flaking yep, apart it'd and be it, falling apart. it has some texture to it I mean, that's got to be obviously the sugar and the lemon in the witchcraft <laughs> <laughs> oh my word that is quite honestly fantastic I think it's delicious. Yeah, as that, soon as you take that camera, I'm going to keep eating. Yeah, exactly right. Anyhow, guys, we're going to finish this off. And thank you so much for watching. And if you would, if you haven't, subscribe. And if you would, tell somebody about us. That would help our channel grow. That would be awesome. Anyhow, until the next one, we are out.